Cat, it's Maximus here. This is just a little rant. This was a open box. Only 12 bucks at Home Depot on their clearance rack, which surprised me. Usually they don't price things that cheap, but this, uh, somebody probably mispriced this one. Anyway, this was a bit of a rant, basically because this Diablo and Freud is owned by Bosch now. And what they've decided to do is start switching up their hole saws. I know that they still make the standard half-inch 20 threaded back hole saws, but a lot of them on the shelf, and I'm sure that's how this one ended up coming back, is they've started integrating the Bosch 11 16th quick lock system. And this is a permanently welded arbor. There's not even threads in there. So you have to have their special, which is like a $40 arbor or something. You have to have the special arbor in order to use this hole saw supposedly i mean i suppose if you're doing a downward action or maybe right overhead you know you could put a do a set of socket adapters etc my i do have one of the bosch adapters or hole saw yeah you know, hole saw dr quick release drive adapters but it's still annoying that they're now integrating that into the hole saw and there's a couple of reasons for that number one the standard for driving hole saws is these. It's one of these half inch drive uh, two pin uh, hole saw adapters. And they just thread in and then use two pins that are driven by a, uh, a couple of flats here to drive the hole saw. There are nicer ones which lock in really tight. This Lennox isn't too bad. And so well, that's what most people are going to have. And so if somebody's going to pick one of these up on the shelf, not really notice and then realize that you need a special proprietary quick lock adapter and that's what's annoying is they're trying to drive people towards that quick lock adapter and away from well-established standards which once again is frustrating there's a second problem with these is hole saws are obviously pretty big they use up a lot of space so when you're using them a lot of times like me you nest them all that way you can have a whole bunch of hole saws and a pretty small space. I have extra hole saws because they're the kind of thing that's, that does get burned up pretty fast. And surprisingly enough, these large ones tend to get burned up pretty easy because a six inch hole saw like this should be run at like 100 RPM uh, in wood. And no, there are basically no drills that go that slow. You As slow as you can really find are like whole hogs and things like that, which are 300 RPM. Maybe the Milwaukee Gooseneck drill, I think, goes down to 230 RPM. So these are often run really fast, generates lots of heat on the high-speed steel, and ends up the teeth end up doling relatively quickly. And this thing only retails for 30 bucks, which is that you think is a pretty good price for a big old recess light uh, six-inch hole saw. But they just tend to be disposable items. And they do wear out quickly. It's no different than, you know, a reciprocating saw blade. You know, if you run into nails or anything else, you can instantly destroy a hole saw in just one shot just by hitting some screws or nails. Hit a deck screw, and it's instantly ruined. I think that's kind of the idea with these Milwaukee hole dozers is the fact that they use the more reinforced teeth. Anyway, besides that, you know, this it seems like an okay hole saw. Just as annoying that they include this arbor because now it won't sit flat if you have multiple ones with the arbors you're not going to be really nesting them together or anything like that and they're going to be taking up a whole bunch of space since they can't be nested together more elegantly they're going to end up getting beat up big ones like this you know if they're kicking around a truck or a toolbox really easy to get these dented or warped if other tools land on them other you know things like hammers beat them up and then they're really tough to use when your hole saw is dense or is slightly oval it makes it real tough to use and then of course my last thing about the rant is of course they have climbing steps to remove any cores that are stuck in the hole saw but it's actually not that great because a lot of times you know it generally works using these steps, but sometimes it's easier to punch them out from the back. They do have some extra holes there. But Milwaukee is a little bit smarter where they have holes more towards the center. And instead of three holes, closer out to the edge. So it's easier just to you know use a nail or something and punch it out if you're having trouble walking it out with a screwdriver. And I kind of wish Diablo would have done the same thing. And although it does work fine, my last little rant, you can just look through the holes here and you can see the thickness of this. 
it's a decent back plate, but it's not particularly thick compared to something like this five inch holdozer where you can see the steel on this is significantly thicker or on this real premium, uh, this is a spider six inch uh, carbide tipped hole saw and you can see the steel on this is really extra thick. And so that kind of seems cheesy. It's not only they're forcing the arbor on there, but they made the back plate about as thin as uh, would be reasonably acceptable for a large diameter hole saw. So anyway, that's my kind of review rant about these uh, new Diablo hole saws. They're pretty nice hole saws. I wouldn't say that they're the best. I think they're falling behind Spider and Milwaukee. And even for that matter, even behind uh, Lennox here, because Lennox also does the Milwaukee thing where they have multiple holes. So you just have a variety of ways of being able to uh, walk the any kind of stuck inserts out or cores out. And so that's really the nature of this video is it's just kind of disappointing that Diablo is supposed to be a real premium name. And I'm sure the quality of the steel looks is good. It's just integrated proprietary arbors, slightly thinner back plates, not as much attention played, you know, holes in the back for ejection. They're just, you know, dropping the ball a little bit. They're supposed to be 100% top tier, but they're falling behind Spider, Milwaukee, Lennox. And when you're falling behind all those brands, uh, you're getting pretty do do uh, low down on the list. And it's just a little disappointing, and that's why I wanted to make this video about this hole saw. Even if it does retail for 30 bucks, which is totally reasonable for a 6-inch saw, nonetheless, uh, Freud could do a better job. And Freud Bosch, I should say. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out. <laughs>